my name is Rajneesh Singh and I'm here today to talk about ICT in Asia. What's become very apparent is that you know we have some ICT leaders in the region but all of them seem to have one common thread and that's uh, they trying to harness the power of ICTs in getting to whatever goals and objectives they've set themselves as a nation. The challenges are manifold. Uh, on the one hand, we have either basic infrastructure or very low levels of infrastructure. Uh, there's usually issues around affordability. So what do we do about it? Uh, obviously, a very key component to all this is what sort of ICD policies exist in a country, how they allow empowerment of not just the people, but businesses and, and, and the larger ecosystem around it. They can be the catalyst. They can provide that sort of enabling environment which is required to foster uh, change, uh, ICT, ICT development, and as well as entrepreneurship. And that means having relevant ICT policies, you know, having a light touch regulatory approach instead of having a very heavy ended approach. There has to be a multi-stakeholder environment that needs to be fostered and encouraged. And again, government is perhaps the best position to facilitate that multi-stakeholder environment. And then of course the third one is the issue of capital itself, you know, where the money is going to come from. I think there is some scope for private uh, and public partnerships to make that happen. People who have had success, and I think you see this around the world, once they have made their money, they like to give back. And you know, counting on some of these people, not necessarily from that country itself, but from anywhere around the world, they, I'm sure, will be able to, will be happy to you know, come and mentor people and, and you know, try and inspire them a bit more to be the best they can be. And in doing so, you know, help with socioeconomic development and development all around.